Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to either claim a business that's not already listed on Google My Business or to take over a listing that may have already been claimed by somebody else. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to business.google.com. And once you log in or once you get to uh, that page, you're going to see this, this page right here. You're just going to click sign in. Uh, most likely you're already logged into Google. If not, you just have to log in with your Gmail account. Um, and you're going to see this page right here. Now, mind you, you're only going to see this page if you don't have any other businesses listed under your account. So if you already have a couple business listings on your account, you're going to see a page like this. And there's not much different. This just shows all your information. This is your Google My Business dashboard. So if you do have businesses on there already, you're just going to click this, uh, this blue plus sign and then click Add a Location you're going to see the exact same screen that you see on the other page. So I'm going to go back to this one and use kinetic knowledge as an example. So you can see uh, we, we already have this verified. So you're going to see it in the drop down. Most of the time your business is going to be in that drop down because Google autofills a lot of the information for you. So if you do see it, you're just going to click on that and you'll see as Google autofills it and shows you all the information about the business. Now, if your business is not in the drop down, you're going to have to fill out that information, make sure it's accurate and, and all that just to make sure that Google has all the information you need. So once you do that, if you fill out the information or if you find it on the drop down and click on it, you just click continue. And you're going to get this alert right here. So this alert is saying that somebody else has already verified this listing and that it's been verified by this uh, email account, it's going to be redacted because they're not going to give that out. Google doesn't uh, share that information, but you can request ownership, especially if you're the owner of the business, it's your listing. You own that, that listing. So you click on this blue request ownership and you're going to see this page. So all it's asking you is to make sure that you're agreeing to share your information that whoever does own the listing currently can see who is trying to own the listing, which would be you. And then what level of access would you like? So if you're a business owner or you work for a business, you need ownership of the listing because you can go in there and take out whoever may have verified this listing for you or who's claiming that they own the business. You're going to want to take them out. You don't want them messing with the listing or anything like that. So always request for ownership and then what's your relationship to the business? If you're an owner, employee, that that doesn't really affect too much. It'll just let the person know. And then make sure that your name and your phone number is there and you would just hit submit. And that's how you request ownership of listing. Now, it's completely up to that person as to whether or not they actually allow that to happen. So you would have to give it a few days. Uh, if they they don't let you uh, take over the listing, you would have to contact Google at that point in time and let them know that you're, you own the business and that they're not letting you get in there. 